pretty pumped. Uh, headed to Georgia right quick to get a bona fide, borrow a bona fide from a buddy of mine, Scott. I uh, met Scott through Angler. We both work with Angler, and uh, he knows a lot about the kayak world. I know nothing, as we well established, about the kayak world. Looks like somebody had a boo-boo right here. Um, anyway, so yeah, pretty pumped. Pretty pumped. We're getting a better boat. It's got a lot of cool features. I've been looking at it online. A lot of padding, make things a little quieter. Got some good storage areas, and just a better boat. Should be able to stand up. Gonna gonna try that for the first time. I hadn't even tried it in this other boat, but I'm gonna try it in that one too, and do a little comparison video. But uh, pretty pumped about having a little better boat to fish in. I've been loving the kayak deal. My back has not been loving it. So uh, everybody's telling me, you know, get in that higher seat and you'll be all right. So that's what we're gonna find out with the bonafide. But headed towards Georgia. We'll pick it up. What's going on? Got all the toys out here. What's happening, Ham? I'm just gonna hook up the whole trailer and take it with me. Yeah, right. Just roll it with it. What's up, going buddy? on, bro? How you been? How are you? So bona fide. That's the deal, huh? That's the deal. So I roll. Y'all got it. What do you do? Do get mom and dad out of the car. Oh yeah, mom and dad. I just heard there's only 10 of these in the world right here. New rudder system. Bonafide. I'm not going to break it because then I'll be in trouble. So the the new motor is going to be a lot faster, huh? Yeah, the new motor is a whole lot faster. So the, what's the difference in the power output or whatever? Is it like pound so, press, same situation? or? Yeah, the, the, the new one is in the full three horsepower. Dang. And, uh, but it's electric, right? Yeah, yeah, all electric. The thing I want to do, like the one video I'm looking forward to making one day, is flipping Okeechobee in one of these jokers. I want to punch out of one of these. It's gotta be. It's gotta be difficult. I'm doing it tomorrow in Gunnersville. You gonna punch out of it? Oh yeah, we punch out all the time. We're fishing Gunnersville tomorrow, and so I hadn't even stood up in one yet. Thursday, oh god. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bow to stern. This is the Bonafide SS127, obviously. Uh, down here with paddle. So when you get your your paddle and everything up here, you know the big handle up in the front, mm -hmm. got a rubber grip underneath it, big paddle uh, strap right there. We call that the boss strap. So whenever you're, you're fishing, you throw that in, wham, bam. Nice. Good to go. So all that stays right in front of you. When you get your rods in here, mm -hmm. the, the butts will go right down here and everything lines up to be right down here where the tip of your rods line all the way up. up I got here. you. So it's all designed for that ebb and kind of flow kind of deal. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, you can with the front hatch, like you were showing earlier, you can open it from both sides. Yeah, that's pretty So cool. you can put your rods, protect your rods, throw a, a tube sock over your reels and a, and a rod sleeve over your rods if you're going to store them in there, especially in the back of the truck or whatever. But they'll hold, me and Gene have run probably 12 or 15 rods in a hole. Dang. Going down to Louisiana or something. That's yeah. awesome. We got plenty of rods. Um, and then when you're in the boat, you know, obviously you had everything, you know, whatever. I keep my, my uh, bag of uh, rain gear and stuff like that all down inside here. Um, all everything that Yak Attack, all the track systems, everything, all the Yak Attack accessories, the rod mounts, rod holders, all the different things. You got tracks here, tracks there. Um, you're about the same height, so height wise, if you're going to use these here, you can squeeze these and, fl and flip them in. Mm -hmm. This one's not set up with a rudder or nothing, but you can flip that over. But you can just grab the back of that and adjust that up and where you need to. All right. I never sit in the low position, so with that, I got short legs. So my feet go here. I got you. I don't even use these. I run those all the way up and just use the front of that for storage. Cool. Um, in your seat, you got two different seat positions. Snap locks here. Again, I never sit in the low position. I'm always in the high. Is Plus it just a little more stable low? Yeah, it's more for stable. Early on. Well, it's easier to in the wind. You know, you yeah. know, it depends on what kind of conditions you're getting out in. I got you. I, 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 I don't think I've, I've probably paddled in the low twice ever. I got you. So I just, I'm never, I'm always in the high position. The only time mine's in the low is for storage. Um, you got eight different straps on the front and the back of the seat. I'm going to get you another seat actually because this one's all set up. All right. Um, but uh, anytime you're filling any kind of bar or anything in here, tighten these down. Okay. I mean, they, I mean they, they're, they're, they're pretty sturdy. This will be. Um, jump door kind of slides in, slides out. Whatever, you know, I, I this is new to the market. They, have, they haven't even sent them out yet. So this is a cover that goes over the top of the junk drawer and enables you to be able to reach down inside the junk drawer plus gives you two pockets on each side. I gotcha. And uh, that's fixing to be released in a couple weeks. Cool. You can lock this down. Uh -huh. 
um, you know, when and if you need to. Um, Anywhere up and down that rail? Yeah, cool. I, I don't even, um, like I said, I keep stuff in mine all the time. You, you can pull this thing right here out. Yeah. And take the whole junk drawer with you. I okay. Open that there, and then this whole thing cool. will come out. So that way, you know, if, you, if you're really storing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But if you're just throwing plano boxes and stuff in here, then that's pretty easy to take out. But this is pretty solid. I mean, as long as you lock it down when you're when you're going on the road. Yeah. Uh, in the back, you've got uh, kind of the same thing, big tank well area. Yeah. So it's got these big dummy clips. If you use a black pack or a cooler or whatever, oh, I got you, you can just snap them in. Cool. Whatever. I mean, you can cross them. You can do yeah. you know, whatever it is that you're. That you're so. Um, rear back handle. Uh, go to that side. See those two skid plates back there? Yeah. If you have that front handle, if you're six feet tall, if you got that front handle at your waistline, yeah. then you're on those skid plates. Cool. And drag it. And those can, can be replaced or whatever. Yeah, they can yeah. be replaced. They're two bolts and I got cool. a bunch of them if you need some more. What are these little deals? Uh, they're uh, drill slots for your rudder. Cool. Um, I got you. Yeah, I saw where it was pre. Yeah. It was not pre-rigged, but it was yeah, ready. Yeah, set up for it. So yeah. you can see even over here, like we put the, uh, this one I set got up you. for my torpedo. Yeah. And then with their actual rudder cables now, with their new rudder, they're doing them inside here. Cool. And then we're running your rudders down out of here. So that's how you steer so, the torpedo. Yeah, with your feet. I got you. Yeah, torpedo huh. just snaps in, and so you just that's pretty cool. Have a seat. Yeah. I'll tell you, he's the best fisherman in the family, but he's not. He's not? No, you're looking at him. Well, two-time state champ and all-time BSer. <laughs> 12-foot-seven boat. Okay. This is a 12-foot-seven boat. They call this the RS for the Rise Up, for the Rise series. You got two positions with the seat. I got you. And again, uh, I, I don't ever use the low position. I don't yeah. know why I would. Um, but you can snap that in right up here, too. Like I said, it's just a little bit more, um, it doesn't have the bells and whistles. You Economical. Internal storage. You don't have the tray. You still got storage space. You still got a dry pod here, or a dry hatch, you know, area yeah. where you can kind of store stuff, whatever else. Um, you got a little, you know, a little bit of storage up in the front area. Um, this is designed to be a paddle keeper, mm -hmm. the same way that the other is. So when you're in the boat, you know, you have an opportunity to store it there. Um, like I said, just doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's the most stable, most fishable kayak on the market. I, I tell everybody all the time, dollar for dollar, this is the best boat in the industry. That boat. On the water, it's not six hundred dollars better yeah. than this boat. It's just got gadgets and stuff. It's just it's got the bells and whistles. Yeah. This will do. This is your workhorse. Will do everything you need it to do. This is you know this is your your you know all your bells and whistles. This is your you know leather and tender leather interior and power windows and yeah just like king ranch. yeah the this padding your, and everything. Yeah. This is a lot more of everything. Oh yeah, it's just it's 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 a whole different whole different setup. Like Beefier I said, but you can almost have two of those. And I mean, I like I like these. I don't oh, know. This if, is a great boat. I like these recessed uh, rod holders. I my, and the first boat I ever got from Bonafide before I ever had it on the water or nothing, I drilled out two holes in the back. Yeah. And put them in there. And I've learned over the time, over the over the years now, that I don't need them. I I end up using I use my black bag. This is how I grab my bag. And then this whole thing here sits in the back of the tank well you can snap it in with the locks it snaps in right there right there i put hinges on mine and it holds everything i need cool. holds all my you know hold six rods uh, it's got dry bags like you can get out with a giant raymarine jeez oh that's got the transducer on it and everything you can get out with the giant <laughs> it's right down in here and then you got a phone charge and everything yeah and i got my phone charging there you hit a button crazy I charge your phone whole nine yards i put a cup holder there and i'm good to go that's awesome you've got all your different rods, you're carrying these things one or two at a time, yeah. right? Blah, blah, blah. So what I love about it is you bunch them all up. I think I only got about six or seven here, right? Mm -hmm. Big rod sock, run it right over the top here. Slide that straight down. Rotate this in, strap that there. One, two, three. You don't, because because that's how we roll that way. So tighten that thing down there. Stop shop, throw the top of your shoulder. Run it straight to the truck. That's slick. All your rods, all your reels. Yeah, pretty pumped. Been threatening to do it for a long time.